Hello everyone, it's me, Clayson. I just finished watching Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, starring Jude Law, Eddie Redmayne, and Mads Mikkelsen. Now, as a prequel to the Harry Potter series, the Fantastic Beasts movies have had a bit of a rocky way of going about things. The first film was certainly not as good as the best Harry Potter films, but through Eddie Redmayne's committed performance and some genuinely cool new uses of magic and magical creatures, it was still an enjoyable ride, in my opinion. But The Crimes of Grindelwald was a crime of a, mo of a movie itself, filled with so much exposition and so many different plot threads, to the point where it felt like it was a roadmap for future sequels as opposed to being a good movie in its own right. Now, with The Secrets of Dumbledore, it hasn't completely fixed those issues, but it's generally a more fun film than previous ones in the series, and I do think it's the second best out of the Fantastic Beasts films so far. So yeah, better than Crimes of Grindelwald, not as good as the first. Let's get to the story, shall we? The story is that Mads Mikkelsen is, the, is Grindelwald now, and he's trying to take over the Wizarding World through some, an election of some kind. So, Newt Scamander, played once again by Eddie Redmayne, has to team up with friends both old and new to stop Grindelwald from taking over the Wizarding World and starting a huge war against the Muggles. But that's all I'll say about the story. It's a, it's a story that definitely doesn't t shouldn't take two hours and 22 minutes to get through the whole thing, but it does manage to give us some fun moments with characters that we do like from the series, like Jake Kowalski, and it happens to get to introduce some new characters, like Professor Hicks, who I happened to really enjoy. On top of that, Mads Mikkelsen actually blends into the role of Grindelwald really well. He's always good with villains, and I think I actually was more intimidated by his portrayal of Grindelwald than by Depp's portrayal of Grindelwald. Also, Albus Dumbledore gets a really solid performance from Jude Law, and I really like the relationship that Jude Law has with Mikkelsen in the movie. Granted, Dumbledore has always had love for certain people in the franchise, but him having to, f to face someone to def he loves in order to defend people that he must definitely feeds into his whole philosophy of there being a time to choose between what is right and what is easy. It's not easy to face someone you love, but it's the right to do so when this person you love is a maniac. That being said, there are several issues with, with the film. Like I said, the pacing does feel like it takes forever to get to the climax, and it feels like some sequences, like one where Newt's commander has to, rec has to rescue his brother, while fun in concept, they do feel like they drag on for a while to hit the 2 hour, 22 minute runtime. On top of that, while some characters like Hicks and Kowalski are really good, some other ones feel underdeveloped and underutilized, like they're only there just to be there. On top of that, Queenie's romance with Kowalski felt like it took a road that couldn't possibly go back when it came to Grand Crimes of Grindelwald. So the way it's handled here could be seen as either a cop-out or something that could never happen, if depending on how you feel about Crimes of Grindelwald. I personally felt like they really could have developed that a bit more if they had so much time in the film already. But, at the same time, it is kind of a feel-good moment for Kowalski and Queenie, so I feel like it could have been done if it was just executed better. With that being said, the magic scenes are still, are still excellent, most of the acting is pretty good, and whenever Scamander gets to work alongside the CG animals, he does a really good job working with them, and those animals do really feel like they justify why the whole series is about this magic zoologist. So yeah, not the best film of the Wizarding World, but not the worst either. I'd give it about a 6 out of 10. See you next time.